Hey guys, got another video for you today and it's going to be on Bitcoin. I want to talk about two important news updates around Bitcoin, which I think are super important, not just for Bitcoin, but cryptocurrency as a whole. So let's quickly take a look here at CoinMarketCap. Bitcoin still holding the number one spot, obviously, um, holding above 15,000. It had a bit of a rally and some of it is regarding the news, which we're going to talk about today. Um, but as you guys know, I've been kind of hard on Bitcoin lately because of the community, um, the division among the community with forks and also the lack of innovation. And I, I talked a bit about if Bitcoin does not innovate, it won't happen this year or maybe not even next year. But eventually it will become irrelevant if it does not improve um, speed and reduce reducing costs and things along that line. So the news I want to talk about is uh, Peter Thiel is has been disclosed, reported by the Wall Street Journal, that he bought millions uh in, in in bitcoin so really going all in on bitcoin guys uh and and it's it wasn't through it was through his venture capital uh firm which he co-founded um, and they bought millions in bitcoin so uh, if you're wondering why bitcoin has been so strong you got some major institutional investors who are putting a lot of money into bitcoin now some of you who don't know Peter, who Peter Thiel is, Peter Thiel was the founder of PayPal. He then sold it to eBay for a lot of money. Um, and then he went into more venture capitalist um, type of activity. And he was one of the first investors uh, in Facebook. So this guy has money. He's been around the block a lot of times. He knows what's going on. And he's a, a fan of Bitcoin. Um, I, I think I did a video a while back of him talking about you know, what, what the value of Bitcoin and, and the importance and so forth. Um, so it says the bet was spread across several of the firm's recent, most recent funds, including one that began investing in mid 2017 and made Bitcoin one of its first investments. So maybe Peter knows something we don't, but I think he sees the value. We all see the value in Bitcoin. Um, obviously <clears throat> it's the original crypto, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> And we know what the mission and the core value of Bitcoin is, and I totally believe in that. But um, like I said, there's also the the reality of things that if you don't innovate, you die, and if you don't improve things, you're gonna die. Bitcoin being first generation, um, you're gonna it, we're gonna have third generation cryptos coming out, such as Cardano, which which does a lot more, right? So uh, we Bitcoin needs to innovate. Um, another important item here which i think is super significant for the growth of crypto and other world governments to adopt crypto um potentially bitcoin or whichever one or litecoin ethereum ripple things along that line but analysts from a japanese finance giant namoro namura excuse me have found bitcoin could be contributing as much as 0.3 percent extra gdp to japan's economy um the analysts estimate the the wealth effect of Bitcoin could cost could boost, excuse me, consumer spending in Japan to as much as 96 billion yen, which equates to 855.4 million dollars, uh, which is amazing. And the reason for this, and which I, I'm I'm really you know proud of the, the Japanese government, they legalized Bitcoin and made it a legal currency and it surged in popularity. Now there's a video, I'm gonna leave a link to the, the description. Um, it, I'm sorry, I'll leave a link in the description to this video that you guys can take a look at. CNBC did a video about this um, in, early, in 27, late 2017 about Japan making Bitcoin a legal currency and it just grew. It, it people adopted it people started using it you're seeing signs now bitcoin being accepted here and so forth so i think that was super smart of the J japanese government instead of trying to fight it accept it and then it's now it's they're looking at the they're seeing the benefit e economically so hopefully other countries can learn from this and i believe that um you know this type of information will help other countries such as china hopefully to lean back a bit ease back a bit on their restrictions of exchanges and so forth um and even the u.s possibly so we have to wait and see but um it's still great news for bitcoin and and uh, you know crypto as a whole because it, it shows that there's value it's going to add value to the economy and and you know every government every country wants to have a, a, a strong and booming economy so that would be great so this video is really great uh the person the reporter does a review here 90 percent of bitcoin trade just one year ago 
But with Beijing banning initial coin offerings, or ICOs, and regulators shutting down Bitcoin exchanges there, Japan is setting out on a different path, embracing the crypto movement. Bitcoin trade here in Japan accounts for nearly half the global trade volume. Compare that to 25% in the U.S. So, once again, a great video, very informative, and they do some interviews with folks there. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. Be sure to take a look at it. But I think this is significant macro level thinking big picture now long term. This is great for crypto that Japan's coming and say, hey, this is doing well for us, booming our economy. People are using it. So um, I think this, both of these items are great. Uh, what do you guys think about this news? Peter Thiel and as well as Japan economy getting boost from Bitcoin. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe for more videos on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. I'll talk to you guys later.